Jesus is King. Praise to Jesus Christ, everybody. Happy Feast of Saints Peter and Paul. Wanted to uh, explain the video that you're about to see uh, to all the guild members. This is a guild only video. Um, as always, the first part of this will be released publicly just to promote guild membership. Um, but I wanted to explain what we did this past weekend. This past weekend was the guild leader family retreat, which is when we have all of the leadership of the apostolate. So all the people who there's about 24 people and families who help out with leading this apostolate. Um, mo publicly, I know most people see the hosts, people who host the podcast. Um, but there's a number of other people who help lead this whole apostolate because there is the external apostolate of Meaning of Catholic, and then there's the guild guild community on the inside. That is the online community that we build um, and we help to facilitate via Telegram um, in the St. Joseph Guild um, that helps to support, as, as we support each other economically, all different ways against the Marxists. We have the Mary Queen of the Home group. Um, that helps with the domestic church. And then most importantly, we have the St. Saint Saint Anthony Fellowship, which offers penance for clergy and seminarians. And so we, our leadership went on a retreat this past weekend. This was really our second annual retreat of this kind. Um, but this was the first time that we really, we really sort of intentionally made it into a retreat. And uh, the retreat itself was... Um, what we did was we just worked on building community, praying for the guild and all the guild members. And then we read our, our constitution, the constitution of Our Lady of Victory as an organization, uh, and as well as the, the Vatican II document on the lay apostolate, ax, uh, Apostolicum Um A guild is really a, it, it starts as a confraternity of prayer. That's what a guild is. The guilds grew out of lay people getting together to pray and offer penance together. And then from that foundation, realizing that, uh, you know, you had the confraternity of the XYZ and they got together on ABC day and they did this prayer and this procession and whatever. And then one of their members, uh, you know, they died. So then, oh, we realized we have a widow, widow and children that we have to take care of now as a part of our confraternity. And so what grew out of prayer, the spiritual basis of this uh, lay sodality, becomes an economic cooperation. So the guilds in Christendom, one of the most important institutions of Christendom, must be revived. And so what we're doing with the Meaning of Catholic Guild, with the St. Joseph Guild, uh, this internal community, which is inside, which is not public. It's only for members who commit themselves to this apostolate by daily invoking our lay patrons and also contributing what they can financially. Um, that guild community is meant to be a help for building Christendom in your own community. So we have this external apostolate where we do what we can to unite at, at Catholics against the mandates of the Holy Church. And then we have this internal guild structure, which supports the apostolate in many different ways, spiritually, financially, but it also is meant to help foster and develop the local community, the local, your local real community, because we all have our local communities, but we don't have a local Christendom. Most of us, unless you live in Liechtenstein or, or Bavaria or someplace where Christendom still exists. Um, so the online guild community is meant to be some support and help to your local community and building that local community, which is the real community. So um, this video is the leadership of the apostolate reflecting on our our uh, our constitution and the the document from Vatican II and talking about this retreat and so what we tried to do on this retreat was to build communion community in the re in, in the flesh you know these are all people relationships that we've had that we've built online they've been virtual relationships but now we had an opportunity to uh, you know 
allow those relationships to be real in real life, uh, in the flesh. Um, so I encourage all of you guild members to read our, our constitutional document, um, read the, the Vatican II document that we read, Apostolicum Axiositatem. And then um, for all of you who watch this publicly and are not a guild member, I encourage you to become a guild member that helps support our apostolate. And it helps, uh, it gives you an opportunity to be a part of building Christendom by utilizing modern technology like the internet. So we can help build this, this virtual community, which is meant to help facilitate and give life as well, doing what it can uh, to the local community. So here is our guild discussion uh, on those topics. Well, welcome to the listening session from the Synod on Synodality, meaning of, <laughs> meaning of Catholic edition. Uh, we're very pleased to have uh, two states of the union represented virtually. Plus, we've also got Nebraska as well as Minnesota, Missouri, and Canada and Austria represented. So we'll send this recording to the rest of everyone. So what we're going to do in the spirit of Synod and Synodality, we're going to have an Indian share circle here. So let me explain how this works. An Indian share circle is we go one by one and you say your piece, try to get it, keep it to five to 10 minutes or less. And at the end of that time, you say, thank you. And that is the cue for the next person to say their piece. And if we have the peace pipe, we'll also make, smoke the peace pipe, but we'll forego the peace pipe this time. Um, so, uh, what, so essentially what this is, we read Apostolicum Axiusitatem. And if you didn't read it, that's okay. Just share whatever you want to say. Uh, and we also have our, our lay apostolate constitution. So it's, this is just a general open ended question. What are your thoughts about the meaning of Catholic lay apostolate? What are your thoughts interacting with any of the readings, any of the meaning of this? Um, <clears throat> and so I'm, I'll just share a very briefly. The Lord has told me that I need to speak less because my voice has failed uh, because we've been piously uh, chanting the office so devoutly in, late into the night. Um, that was a joke. Um, so uh, let's see. <laughs> So, um, but basically, the, the Constitution has, has been designed based on reading Apostolic Exuositatem, knowing the history of the church, and, and attempting to carve out a space where lay people can operate, uh, execute the lay apostolate that we're called to by our confirmation within the sphere of lay authority, lay uh, domain, j lay jurisdiction, if you will, uh, to not step on the toes of the clergy, not try to tread into matters that are beyond our purview, um, but to uh, do the things that we we say in our apostolate, which is unite Catholics against the enemies of the Holy Church. Um, part of the problem is that I think many lay people are trying to be clergy in the way that they operate, and so that's that is dividing this situation. Um, <clears throat> so, but I. I like how meaning of Catholic is it has ex, an external apostolate on YouTube and whatnot. And especially like our lady of victory. I like how that's sort of, it's become something our lady of victory morning show has become what our lady of victory did at Lepanto in terms of let's focus on the enemies of Holy church in that show. Cause that's a very uni unifying factor. And then with St. Joseph dialogos, we, we deal with more controversies then. And um, with all of our other contributions, and, but then so that's our external apostolate, and then we have this guild community that's meant to be. It's meant to be a virtual community, which supplements and reinforces the real community that exists in your local parish community. So this is meant to just help to supplement in an age of post Christendom, where we don't have Christendom to help us sort of give us that community. Uh, momentum of culture in our local village. We've got our village, we've got our families, we've got our parish, and then we have this online community that helps to support that real community. So that is what, um, that those are my thoughts. And I want to say, pass it on to David to share first, and then we'll go to Dr. Bryson next. And then we'll just have everybody share. Thank you. 
if you want access to the full guild membership, guild conversation, everything, you need to go to meaningofcatholic.com slash register to become a guild member. And as I said, the uh, you just need to contr- contribute something financially and uh, invoke our daily invoke daily our lay patrons. And if you can't afford it, you can also get access nevertheless, because this is a guild. This is supposed to support people, support each other uh, financially against the Marxists. So just contact us if you can't afford it, meaningofcatholic.com slash contact.